Hey everybody, I had someone message me wanting to do a, a short video on how my boat's set up. Wasn't really planned on doing it tonight, so it's not cleaned up or anything, but that's just the way it is. It's life. Um, we'll start off with the gate. We've just got some plastic rod holders on it. Then we hang our scales and stuff on that. Of course, you got to have a, a net. And Jerry set me up with these rod holders. Uh, we got the rod the rod holders from Steve Douglas Monster Rod Holders. And then he built me this bracket. And then those two are just mounted into the railing of the pontoon. And then he finished it up with another bracket. And then the gate has more rod holders on it. Uh, we just keep boxes like this, blankets. And pillows and that box is electronics cutting board tied a rope to it so I can just hang it off the side of the boat and clean it without having to get down on my hands and knees and wash it that worked out one of the best things I've ever done and then I just got a plain trolling motor it's a 45 I think it's 30 45 thrust and 45 shaft and I just drop it down when I use it looky there I don't know if you can see them shads Oh well, we'll go back to the video. Um, he's asked what I lit my poles up of the night when I didn't have the lights on. I got this light from Walmart. It was one of the more expensive things I've, well I paid $30 for it, but it'll last two nights on a charge. And you can't beat that. It's rechargeable, no batteries, and it will light up all the, the rods. And then, of course this couch, this was set up when we bought it for they call it bass buggy or bass fishing. It has a live well in it. I just keep my life jackets in it. And my, you know, when they ain't got bait in it. And this one just has a regular junk in it. Bug spray, uh, sabiki rigs. And then there's some sheets in there I hang up with clamps on the bimini top of the night to keep the wind and the dew off. We do stay out all night on it and we nap a little. Um, Jerry's got rod holders back here also. He's got four on this corner on his bracket he made. Then he's just got one drilled in right there. Then he's got some more rod holders and a couple batteries. We have a third battery over here. That's his number one right there. And our fish finder, someone asked about it. We bought it used a couple months ago. And we're still working on it, figuring it out. Getting the kinks out. As far as the mount for the GoPro and camera, all it is is a piece of PVC pipe. I think we cut it. How tall did we cut that? Five foot. We cut it five foot and then we cut it down because you can't go through the drive through <laughs> at McDonald's with it that high. So if you mount one, make sure you mount it low enough, you know, not tall enough where you can't go through them drive throughs. And then it's open of the night. And we just got it mounted to the back of the couch with them two brackets. Uh, there's no fittings at the top. We just keep a, like a kitchen rag where it's thin. And you just uh, take that one out and slide it back in it. And that keeps it tight, whichever, because they got different brackets for different cameras and phones. And we got one of them mounted on the back to hold the phone, and then one on the front for the GoPro. But that towel is what keeps it tight when it goes down in it from sliding around. The lights. Underground conduit pipes. They're underground conduit pipes, what you said? Yeah. I'm going to cut this one off. And it fits right under the bimini when it's when it's up. Can, we got those lights from a. You turn it. We. Yeah. We got those lights from Amazon, and I'll try to put a, a link to it down below. Cause I don't remember the name of them. It was a funny name. We'll cut that one back on. 
And then this one is on some pipe that fits inside each other. We got that pin to hold it up. And it goes above the bimini to shine down on the rods when I have a fish. And it keeps the bugs up high off of us. You want to cut that one back on? And the ones on the front, they've got the same two lights on the corner of the boat. And they shine really good. And we can see really good going down the water every night. He's got all those wired up to some toggle switches right here. So when I'm fishing and I get a fish or I think I got a fish, listen to them shads. <laughs> and I just cut those on and I'm ready to go. I'll let him explain more about these railings up here. Yes, all it is is just is just a quarter inch thick, inch wide, uh, flat steel, and it all comes from tractor supply. Let me move this net out of the way. You can see it real and then I just cut the measure, cut the length I want to, then just uh, cut it and weld it back. Let's try it again. There, they think they can see it a little better. Okay. You know, I just measured the length I needed, and then I just cut it too, and then weld it back, and bend it, weld it in there where I could bolt it to the to the pontoon. And then and, and made it all more or less the the same way. And then when that uh, the corner, I just uh, cut that short piece there and laid it on top of it there because I couldn't wasn't no way of bending it. So I just made the, the corner and, uh, and bolted that piece on top of it and just cut it off where that would be smooth. Then I just drilled holes and got me a half inch bolt, about an inch long. And then just bought these here. All this stuff comes from tractor supply and it's really uh, affordable. Then it, this right here is the same threads as, uh, as the monster rod holders, half inch uh, threads. And I just bought them and drilled a hole. Then I welded my, my bolts where the teeth could never come out. And then just got, got that big long half inch uh, nut and then uh, screwed the, the rod hole right down in it. And then what about this piece here for and, support? And that piece there for support it is nothing just but the black iron. Okay. And there's a half inch. Side of the corner. Anybody with a pontoon knows you struggle trying to figure out how to mount your rods. And he figured it out and he done a good job with it. I'm tickled with him. And like I said, he did drill these into the railing because I, I couldn't use my trolling motor if it didn't. And that's just a straight bar I made. You got anything to add, Jer? No one. That's, that's it. it. It's really easy to, uh, to make and, and uh, really cheap. All right. And does, and, and, uh, does a real good job. And, and it's, it's extra strong, too. Well, I hope that helped you. Where you can make you some or make a better design of it and let me know something. Uh, and it is very affordable. It all comes from tractor supply except for the rod holders, which was the Steve Douglas ones. And I guess that's it. See you the next time.